So we're in Peoria, Illinois. We stopped here at a nature park center. So we're gonna go ahead and do some exploring. Uh, they have some nice trails from what I saw online. I'll leave links down below for uh, for the area. And then we'll probably uh, get some food before we hit the roads. So I got a nice little area here that shows all the show the difficult rating for the trails. I think we're just gonna stick with today being uh, probably some of the easy trails here in the green. Yeah, I even got the really long one if you'd like to have a longer hike through all the uh, woods. It's a it's a pretty nice place through here. And there's the oldest doing a little dance with some very, very wonderful flowers. Yeah. Let's just take a nice little stroll and work yourself up an appetite. It's a beautiful day out today, so there are other people here. But overall, yeah, and we're just starting to see some of the, the trees starting to bloom again. Uh, not completely full of foliage, but probably a really cool place to visit in, in full summer. I'm sure it's probably really packed here too. Uh, and we just figured we'd just be able to enjoy some of the nature around us you know of course it's earth day so get out and enjoy all the, the earth and nature around uh, of course, yep got the got the otis right there yep <laughs> oh i don't know where this one leads us to we can always go back the other way if we have to but yeah it's i mean Pretty cool. Got a little bit of water down there.
You ever have that day, a squirrel moment? Yeah, I'm having one right now. One of the cool things that they do have here on this trail, besides all the great uh, nature around us, they do have nice little uh, places that you can take a moment just to uh, maybe take a rest or maybe just to uh, collect your thoughts and see what things are all out here. It's actually quite cool. I'm glad we were able to stop and uh, just take this moment to uh, a little bit in here, a little bit of recharge. All right, so sometimes when you are uh, talking with your kids and they decide to choose something, uh, yeah, <laughs> um, we're no longer on an easy trail. I think this one's called an intermediate trail. It's actually called, I think, the Possum Path. So, but hey, gives us a little bit of a stairs workout, get some steps in for the day, and uh, get a little bit of exercise. But you know, a better place to be exercising. But out in old Mother Nature today, I thank her for all this beauty. Well, I think we reached the, uh, the top part of the hill uh, coming across. To some, uh, I think a junction here shortly. Uh, one of the cool things about today, I am actually in pants. I normally get in the, in the woods and I'm in shorts. Uh, with that being said, uh, this time of the year is tick season. Uh, if you do go out walking through any kind of woods and that, uh, probably try to wear a light colored shirt. Uh, this one is a little bit darker. Uh, right there, somewhat lighter. Uh, just so you're able to see any uh, ticks that may be on you. So we'll do a check right before we uh, head out of here when we get back to the car. So it's a little bit of debate between us. Uh, I let uh, 
her shoes we were at the intersection either go back down the hill and back to the normal uh, trail we were on or continue on so now i think we are on the b tree trail so when we get done at the end i'll uh, go ahead and show you which way we went all right so you gotta see some of the uh i think they were like bluebells uh the flowers in that i uh, had to stop here because we have a nice little area of I think old may apples I think is what they're called so uh, here's some cool little plants and things that you find of course uh, this is you know not just a regular um, forest this is you know nature preserve so we just leave everything the way it is for others to see yeah. nice cool little uh, patch of them right there Just when you think you're at the top of the hill, there's another hill. So it looks like at the top of this hill, we've got a map. So, we stirred off at the nature center, the Forest Park Nature Center. We actually walked up this way. And we took that valley trail that I thought, hey, you know, it's, uh, that's nice and easy. It's green, we could do that. And we kept going. And then we went down here, still continuing that valley trail. And then, of course, yep, a possum path. So then we went to the intermediate trail all around here. To there, to there, to there. And we decided not to come this way back down, but we started that bee tree trail loop. And we're clear through here. And we are here. Yep, we're, we're here. All right, so that's where we're at right there. Um, if we decide to continue down this way. I don't think we're going to do any of the uh, hard trail this time. So I figure we've pushed it probably enough for the day and we still have a lot of traveling on uh, the road to do after this. But uh, yeah, we'll start venturing our way probably back down this way, probably through here. And I would imagine come back down here back to that valley trail. So, uh, or if we feel like we've got an extra boost of energy going down, maybe we'll go down to the deer run trail and go through there and back. We'll see. We'll let you know when we get back to the, uh, the main nature center. So thanks to the internet and Google, it looks like these little guys are called a cut leaf toothwort. Well, we've survived the intermediate trail and we hopped on a little bit of the cardinal trail I think it was and now we're uh, finishing up here and getting back to just the main trail there and we're heading back to the nature center
All right, so we're back at the main nature center. And on the map, we'll show you where we went. So basically we were here to the, to the Forest Park Nature Center. We went up the Valley Trail, came over on that B, and then we went clear down to the E and the H. And then we wrapped clear around with the S there. And we decided to go up to the Q and the P, clear around to the N. We decided to hit up with the Cardinal Trail there on the M. And instead of doing the deer run, we actually came down to J. And then we came back to that B and clear back down to the A. Back where we're at. So with that all said and done, we'll have to see on how many uh, miles we went, or how far we went, I guess. Yeah. Oh, let's see if I was right. Uh, they were Virginia bluebells. And the cut leaf toothwort. Yeah. Really cool. We actually got a couple of them right there. Of course, they had to have other signs, you know, not doing any mushroom hunting. Uh, looks like this is a nature preserve, so there is no pets here. Another thing, just make sure you stay on the trail as well. Uh, that gives everything for uh, other people to see. They have down here, they have some little handouts. Of course, we got the map there. It looks like we got, oh, Earth Day, yay. And then we even got a nature scavenger hunt. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed all this here at the Forest uh, Park Nature Center uh, here in Peoria, Illinois. We actually got the sun right up there. It's really great to see the sun have it down. Got some more of those Virginia bluebells there. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. We'll go ahead and we'll, uh, see how far. They do have some nice little picnic areas here. We might actually just bring out our uh, little stove and uh, make ourselves some food. Otherwise, we'll just find another park somewhere in the nearby area and uh, go there for our food. Otherwise, um, y'all have a good one. Hope you enjoy this. If you're ever down in the Peoria area, again, I'll leave all the links down below about this place and how far it is from wherever all, all of you live. Otherwise, we'll see you again on the next uh, one of Tiny Venturing. Mm-hmm.